Well, hello, how are you guys doing? Welcome back as always to Rule of Two Review. So we all know that January 12th, 2017 is going to be the day that Nintendo finally gives us all the goods on the Nintendo Switch. They're holding an event in Japan. They've invited the press. It's going to be, hopefully, all the details that we've been wondering about. What's the price? What's the official launch date? What are the games going to be? What's Nintendo bringing to us? What third-party games are going to show up? What's going to be launch? What's going to be later? Is Zelda going to make the launch? Is Mario going to make the launch? All these different things that we've all been talking about for weeks, they should give us all of those goods. And I can't freaking wait. I think I'm going to take that day off of work for two reasons. One is so that I can actually watch the event. I'm expecting it to be around 45 minutes or an hour. If we're lucky, it might actually be longer. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and also, the second reason, you've heard me say it before, I fully expect for the Nintendo Switch to be available to pre-order that same day. So with any luck, they'll confirm that during the event, and I can just run right to my local GameStop and just reserve that sucker. Maybe I'll even pay the whole thing pay the whole thing off. It really depends on what they say the price is going to be. I'll, I'll probably just do that just to play it safe and just get that purchase behind me. Uh, it's going to be a really exciting time. But what's interesting is the new piece of information that Nintendo has just recently given us yesterday about the Switch event in Japan, which is that the following day on the 13th, they are in fact holding an in-person five-hour hands-on event for all of the press that's going to be attending the show, which means they will be letting people play with the Switch, get their hands on it, probably practice what it's like to dock the thing and pull it off, see what it's like on the go, on your TV, see what the controllers feel like, how they react, and hopefully be able to give us a bunch of impressions. I expect the internet to be flooded with articles and videos from all of these different folks and all these websites and magazines and YouTube channels discussing what they thought of the Switch, what it's really like, and it's great because it shows Nintendo's probably pretty confident in this thing that they're willing to let everyone go hands-on with it. Now, it's kind of normal to do this. This is something that we've seen all of the companies do in the past, even Nintendo. As someone who attended E3 in 2004, uh, which is the same year that the Nintendo DS was first announced, the very first iteration of the DS, I was there and able to wait in this three-hour line at the Nintendo booth to go in and be some of the first people to get our to get our hands on the machine and actually see what it was like. So Nintendo's done that before, Sony, Microsoft, Valve probably. It's a very common thing. But we haven't seen Nintendo do something like this in quite a while. So it's really nice to see that they're gonna that beyond just doing this in-person live event for the Switch, that they're also gonna let everyone actually play with the thing. So I have to give major props to Nintendo for doing something like this. This is Everything that I could have hoped and dreamed for with the Nintendo Switch reveal back when we were still talking the, talking in the NX days, which seems like an eternity ago, but that was literally like not two months ago that we were all talking NX stuff. Um, you know, we would all discuss in various different ways how we thought Nintendo might reveal the NX, how they might show it off, how would we want them to do it. And I always wanted them to do live and in person, maybe give people hands on, but more than anything, I wanted them to do it live like a press conference. And I never thought they were going to. I expected a Nintendo Direct or something like the digital event that they've been doing at E3 the last couple of years. Turns out that that wasn't the case. They were listening to my hopes and dreams and they are doing some in-person event. It does sound a little bit different than a press conference, so I don't know how much excitement and glamorous stuff is going to be going on. But that's okay. As long as they show us great things, great games, and the Switch looks even more awesome than it already does... That's going to be fine. And then taking it to this next level by letting all of these press, and it is press only. They did confirm that no, none of the public is going to be able to attend this event. This is a press only thing, you know, following the day of the reveal event. I think that it's just, it just really shows that they've got the right mindset with this whole thing, which is pretty cool. I also think it's entirely possible that in the following days or weeks or something, maybe throughout the month of February, they might do a, an event for the public somewhere. Whether it's also in Japan, whether it's in the States or North America, UK, whether it's in all of these territories, maybe they do something like they've done before where they do it as a road show, so to speak, where it travels for a couple of weeks to different areas across the world and maybe across the States and North America here where I am. And they let a lot of people try it out. You know, something like they go to a bunch of malls or something and they set up for a couple of days. I think I did see them do that for the Wii U or maybe it was the Wii. I can't remember now. But I, I saw it when I was living in Denver. I definitely saw that somewhere and it was really cool. And I could kind of see them doing something like that. They're obviously, like I was saying a couple minutes ago, very confident, 
confident in the Switch and confident in how they think it'll be received and they really believe people are going to like it, so they're comfortable saying, yeah, get your hands on it. Play with the thing. Try out the different controllers. See the graphics. Here are the games that we have. Third party, first party, all this. It's a really, really great sign. So really, that's it, you guys. Super short video for me, but I thought this was really exciting news. I wanted to touch on it, have a conversation with you guys about it real quick and kind of gauge where you are. Do you find this to be as awesome as I think it is? Because I really do think it's that awesome. Do you think it shows strong signs for Nintendo in the Switch that they're willing to let everyone get hands on? Do you expect exciting impressions or do you think that really this won't make much of an impact at all? Definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts and theories about it below. But that's it for me today on this subject. So thanks as always for tuning in, guys. This is Rob of Rule to Review, and I will catch you next time on another video.